Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony, and with this channel, we bring you guys a variety of tech related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. In today's video, we're going to take a quick look at the Unify Video mobile app. All right, guys, let's get right to the app. It's available for iOS and Android devices as well, and it's a great way to manage your cameras or check out your live stream. So when you first launch the app, you're presented with a sign-in screen. You could access your NVR via your Ubiquiti account if you've set it up that way, or you can connect directly to your NVR. So that's what we're gonna do in this demonstration. I'm gonna use the link down below, and you can see that it found my NVR. Now this is the NVR that we set up in the Docker container a few videos back. So let's go ahead and click on that. I'm gonna get my credentials in. And there we go. So now I'm authenticated to my NVR and the screen that comes up is a list of all your cameras. Now I only have the one UBC G3 on the system right now, but if I had multiple cameras, I can click on the multi view link and you can see it takes me to the multiple cameras. And when you turn your phone sideways, you can see it goes into a full screen mode. We're just going to tap to go back. But right from this screen here, I can select any one individual camera just by tapping on it. And it brings up the live stream. And there's some information about the camera down below. You can see the IP address, the firmware version that it's running, that the status is currently connected. Right now, I have it in always record mode, and the record resolution is set to high. Now, you see the little edit pencils? You could edit those settings here. If you want, you can flip the phone and go into the full screen mode and you can actually zoom in on the full screen just by doing a two finger swipe. So that's a pretty cool feature. Let's flip back to here. If you look down at the bottom, you have three tabs. Right now we're currently in the camera tab, but we can go look at the uh, recent recordings and we can look at the settings. Also, if you click on the settings gear here, it brings up a bunch of other settings like brightness and contrast. All the same settings that you had in the actual Unify Video app on the desktop version. Okay, let's go back and let's click on recordings. And you can see we have just a bunch of recordings. Uh, it shows you uh, all the recordings in chronological order. Up at the right hand corner, you have a little filter icon. So let's press on that. And it gives you the option to filter your recorders by date range by cameras, again, we only have the one camera, by type being uh, record on motion or always being recorded and locked or unlocked. Okay, so that's that. Let's go back to this screen here and let's take a quick look at the settings. Okay, so again, this is just a demo NVR, so you could put in a picture and personalize your profile. Uh, you have, I have touch ID um, on, but I have not set that up. It also gives you the opportunity to use the NVR time zone, your local time zone you see here, your NVR time zone you see there. Um, you have a support form and a knowledge base. The app is, like I said, it's great for managing your cameras, changing some uh, minor settings, or just checking out your live streams. One other thing I did want to mention that I forgot was if you go back into the recordings and you actually pull up a recording, you can see um, it gives you some information on the recordings, uh, the date that it was, date and time that it was taken, the duration. This one's only two seconds. The type of recording tells you whether it's locked or not. And if this is a recording that you actually are interested in keeping, you just simply click the download arrow up at the top. And you can see it's downloading the recording now. And what it does is it downloads it to your um, camera's photo roll or gallery. Oh, failed to save recording. I wonder why. All right, guys. So I did some off camera troubleshooting just to figure out why I couldn't save that downloaded video file to the camera roll. At first, I thought it had something to do with the screen capture software, seeing as it's recording the audio video and capturing the activity from the iPhone itself. However, it turned out to be just a privacy setting on the iPhone. Once I allowed the Unify video app to access the photo roll, everything worked out well. I'm going to demonstrate um, a successful download in the next clip, as well as show you a couple other 
small tips to conclude the video. Okay, so we're back in the Unify video app and we're looking at the list of recordings. So if I bring up a previous recording, you see the recording automatically plays. But a couple of other features that I did not show you before, before we get to the successful download. In this area here where it shows you some of the statistics like the date and timestamp of the recording, the duration, etc. You can also delete this video clip right by clicking on that trash can. But to the left of the date and timestamp, you also see an open lock. So that open lock means that the video is currently unlocked, but you can actually lock it here so it can't be deleted. I don't know if you noticed, but the lock turned green, it's closed. The lock status here changed to yes. And if you notice now, the trash can has been disabled. So that's a couple of different ways to uh, manage this clip right then and there. As far as the download, now let's go back. Now that we've allowed the um, app to access the photo roll, we'll click on the download arrow. And you can see now we have a save to camera roll. It was a successful download. Let's go back one screen. I just want to show you that you also have the option of deleting or locking the video clips from this point. It's just simply swipe to the left on the iPhone, that is at least, and you have the option of locking or deleting the video clips from this point. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and use those Amazon affiliate links doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.